welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, today is actually a positive video. We actually were able to get all of the issues with Vader resolved, thankfully, finally. As you guys can see, man, we got the P3 gauge working. And if you look closely, it is reading ethanol content right now. It's showing E51 because I did go ahead and throw in a little bit of E85 into the system just to see if the gauge is going to read. And as you guys see, the gauge is reading perfectly. Now... We got a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of things to cover, so let's just go ahead, roll that intro, and get straight into this banger, bro, because there's a lot of things that have been fixed and replaced with Vader to get us back to where we at right now, so let's just jump into it. Yeah, what's up, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it so, as you guys see, man, we are driving Vader 100% good right now. Um, for starters, the first thing that has been replaced is actually my radio. If you guys have been a part of the JI squad for a very long time and have been, you know, in the loop with every single upload, every single vlog, then you guys would have saw the video that I made when I first purchased this car titled Five Things That I Hate About My 2021 Camaro 1LE. Um, and in that video, I touched on how my radio straight from day one was always tripping. Um, Apple CarPlay, whenever I would play music, it would literally take whatever song that I selected, play it for like five seconds, and then randomly select a song from my playlist. Like, literally, like it just, it, it never failed. Um, I was able to, you know, disconnect my phone and reconnect it and get it to stop doing it as frequently as it was doing when I first got the car. Um, and that kind of resolved the issue for a little bit. I wouldn't really say for real resolve. Yeah, man, it was like putting a Band-Aid over a piece of broken glass, man. It didn't really fix it. It just kind of allowed me to tolerate it a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, the radio has been replaced. Um, completely brand new radio from the factory. So far, so good. Um, the park, the shift to park issue that I was having with the transmission, this is an electrical issue. It's not a physical issue with the shifter. It is an electrical issue within your car's TCM. Now, all of the automatic 6th Gen Camaros are subject to getting this shift to park failure. Um, it's just kind of hit or miss, you know. And, well, with my luck, of course, we got hit, you dig? Um, it is what it is, you know. All you have to do is take it up to your local dealership and they literally know what to do. Um, you gotta plug in a computer to the car and kind of do like a reflash, a relearn, and the system should work perfectly fine. Now, that being said, um, moving on to my DRLs, the fog lights. As you guys know, my fog lights stopped working. I was able to get the fog lights fixed as well. And now the main issue that you guys saw, whenever I plugged in the P3 gates, the car would go into a limp mode and nothing would work. So, kind of funny, um, not really hilarious, but it's kind of funny. So, with the AEM wideband, there is actually a OBD2 port adapter which allows you to run 
the AEM wideband plugged into the OBD2, but then it also allows you to plug in your HP tuners and log the vehicle. Now, that being said, that port, the adapter, is specifically made for things such as HP tuners, not things such as the P3 gauge. So this whole time, well, not this whole time, but in that video, when I was plugging everything up, I was plugging it into the AEM wideband. And that's why my car started tripping and it wouldn't turn on and it wouldn't turn over, etc., etc. Is because the P3 gauge was trying to read the car through the AEM wideband and the AEM wideband was trying to allow the P3 gauge to read the car as if y'all get the point man as if it was an HP tuners and it's not so that's why I started freaking out now that being said I was able to wire everything up properly and we got a functioning gauge thankfully my guy took care of my car another thing that was going on was my battery was pretty low just warranty stuff they took care of it shouts out to my guy man no cap over at Chevy took care of the kid um, also what we're about to do now is we're about to go ahead and head into Mexico because this is the final test to make sure Vader is good. Back when I took Vader out to Navasota with the guys, I want to say two, three weeks ago, um, I noticed that during some of the shifts, it kind of seems as though the transmission was slipping. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that has anything to do with the electrical issues that I was having with the car. So we're about to head to Mexico right now and do a nice little pull on E85 and see if we can get it to, you know, have those issues again. So I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna see y'all when we get to Mexico. Probably gonna do a little 60 roll. And I'm gonna just do performance shift, fuck it. I'm not gonna lie, I think Vader's back. I'm not gonna lie. I think Vader's back. I'm gonna watch the clip back and see. I really just need to look at the RPMs and I'm gonna know for sure, but it did not sound like it did the kind of hiccup in the shift that I'm talking about. And I also did not feel it. So who knows, Vader could be, I feel like Vader's back. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna say it. Knock on carbon, but Vader is for sure back, 100%. Um, we're gonna see in the next couple of days, I'm gonna keep an eye on everything and just see if anything abnormal happens. If it does, then you know, of course I'm gonna update you guys, but if it doesn't, I think it's time that we throw the welds back on the back of this car and take it back to the track and see what we can get it to do in the eighth mile, man. Um, yeah, because that, that pool felt pretty healthy. That pool felt very, very good. I'm not gonna lie. But I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here, man. If you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you're stoked that Vader's back, leave it down in the comment section for the kid, man. Let me know what videos you guys want to see with Vader next. Um, you know, getting back to this content grind. I'm thinking about going back to daily uploads. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to try to do my best. I got a big um, update video coming for you guys too. So just stay tuned. Mad content coming. I know I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus man vader was just you know vader was being vader and i had to kind of like step away from myself regroup and rethink and just you know figure out a solution to my issues man that's all that's all it was man at the end of the day that's all you can do in life you you get thrown you get hit with a with a problem 
and it throws you off of your game, it throws you off your map, it throws you off your plans, whatever. All you can do is adapt, adjust, and regroup, man. That's it. All you can do is just move on. That's it, man. With all that being said, man, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I really appreciate you guys for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications and drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.